Welcome to another episode of PSRE Science Made Simple. My name is Jolie and I'm a PSRE Science Specialist from the PIG Lab. Now in this video, I'll be analyzing a past year examination question on the topic of light. I've included this question in the handout which you can download for free by clicking on the link in the description box below. Without further ado, let's get started. Now Tom set up an experiment in a dark room by placing four different sheets of materials A, B, C and D in front of the torch as shown in the diagram below. Now each material was of equal thickness and size and then he then placed a ball and a wooden block between material A and B. When he switched on the torch, he actually observed a clear dark shadow that was cast on material C. So based on this above observation, we need to then identify whether his conclusions are true, false or not possible to tell. So how should we do this question? We should actually draw how light travels in order for the shadow to be cast on material C. So how do we draw or how do we show how light travels? We will actually draw light rays. So take out a pencil, take out a ruler. We're going to draw how light travels to form the shadow cast on material C. So over here, light from the light source would actually be able to travel. And in order for a shadow to be formed on material C, it means that material C must block light. So I will draw the light ray till it stops at C. And then we're going to draw another light ray from the center of the torch. And this light ray will actually go to the bottom of the object, which is the wooden block. And then it will be blocked by the wooden block. So in this case, where is the shadow formed on material C? It is actually formed on this portion over here, the part that I highlighted. So the highlighted part actually represents where the shadow will be seen or where the shadow will be cast. And this is the portion that shows light is blocked. So now that we have drawn the light rays, it is obvious all right, that we can see which materials allow light to pass through and which material does not allow light to pass through. So since we are able to cast a shadow on material C, that means material C is able to block light. Thus, material C does not allow light to pass through. Okay, and in order for the light ray to actually travel to be blocked by material C, as you can see, we notice that the light was able to pass through A and also pass through B in order to reach C. So what does that tell you about the transparency of A and B? Material A and material B, they do allow light to pass through. Okay, and finally, we're left with material D. Now, what about material D? Material D is placed at a position where it is behind C. So are we able to tell whether light is able to pass through material D? No. I would say that for material D, it is not possible to make a conclusion about its transparency. So once we have this, we are now able to look at the conclusions that Tom has come up with. So conclusion A states, material A allows light to pass through. Is this correct? Yes, this is true. Now what about material B? Material B also allows light to pass through. Based on what we said over here, yes, material B allows light to pass through. What about material C? Does material C allow light to pass through? No, this statement is false. And then finally, for material D, does it allow light to pass through? It might, but we are not able to tell. So I will put not possible to tell. That is your answer. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you found this video useful, do give us a thumbs up. If you want to check out the other videos we have made, do click on the links on the right hand side. Last but not least, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more interesting videos. I'll see you next time. Bye bye!